What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome back to a brand new Liverpool transfer news video and in this video we will talk about Mohamed Salah and Sadio Mane and Firmino because Emil Heskey, a former Liverpool striker who was part of some great Liverpool teams who won a lot of trophies, Emil Heskey has said that Liverpool risk losing the likes of Mo Salah, Firmino and Mane if they fail to win the Premier League title this year. So what are your thoughts about uh, this statement by Emil Husky? In my opinion, it's absolute nonsense. Why would Salah, Firmino and Mane go to other clubs, especially like Salah? Apparently Juventus want to buy Salah and they are offering Paulo Dybala for f plus 50 million euros. I wouldn't sell Salah for any amount and uh, all three uh, front players, in my opinion, absolutely love to play for Liverpool. But uh, Emil Husky says there's always that risk of uh, you know players that want to leave Liverpool the relationship between the players and the Liverpool fans is, is such that they always want to give the league another go but I, I'm not saying that Salah Firmino or Mane wouldn't go but there is a plenty of reason for them to stay I think is a kind of sitting on the fence maybe he wants to just uh, post a controversial opinion so people start talking about Emil Husky again and I'm, I'm talking about him so it, it definitely worked but I think it would tempt uh, it would be a monumental transfer fee and a monumental uh, salary that could maybe tempt the likes of Salah to join other top clubs and at the moment Liverpool are at, at, the, at their best state at their best moment for the past like 20 25 years in my opinion I mean to be a level on points with City with the game in hand with the amount of money that Manchester City spent they spent close to 1 billion pounds on new players since uh, their new owners came in and in my opinion Liverpool are as strong as uh, any club at the moment in Europe in terms of uh you know, on their day, Liverpool can beat anyone, as we have shown in the Champions League and in the Premier League. And also in this video, we will talk about the, all the injuries that Liverpool have at the moment, the, up, the injury update on Lovren, on Wijnaldum and on other players. And Bayern Munich president Uli Hoeneß has actually revealed that Jurgen Klopp almost became a Bayern Munich manager uh, as early as 2008. So Uli Hoeneß gave an interview before the Liverpool Bayern game and he has claimed that things could have been very different when uh, the Bayern were looking to replace Otmar Hitzfeld 11 years ago um, before they appointed, or appointed actually uh, Jürgen Klinsmann uh, Uli Hoeneß said that they agreed a deal with uh, Jurgen Klopp. Personally, I have a high opinion of Jurgen Klopp. Hoeneß said many years ago we agreed on a collaboration together, but we ended up signing uh, Jurgen Klinsmann instead. There I showed that I respect him and his work a lot. It's going to be a tough task for both sides. I, I hope we will come out on top. So that is a very, very big revelation because I, I knew that Bayern were interested in Jurgen Klopp when he left Dortmund, but I didn't know that uh, they wanted uh, Jurgen Klopp as manager like uh, even before his Dortmund days uh, or, or during the Dortmund days. Was, was Jurgen Klopp already Dortmund manager in 2008? I can't really remember. I'm not sure. Jurgen Klopp was manager there for seven years and at Liverpool he is now at Liverpool for like four years so I yeah I'm not, I'm not sure I think it was before his Dortmund days that he wanted to they wanted uh, Bayern Munich wanted Jurgen Klopp and apparently Jurgen Klopp agreed to become a manager at Bayern but in the end they went for for Klinsmann and that didn't really work out for Bayern and it worked out perfectly for Jurgen Klopp imagine what Bayern what were feeling when they saw Jurgen Klopp won, winning two Bundesliga titles ahead of Bayern Munich and they knew that they could have appointed Jurgen Klopp if they made a different decision back then. That would, must have been a very interesting conversation in the Bayern boardrooms. Dejan Lovren is still not training, he is still not fully fit so I think it's very very unlikely at this point that he will play against Bayern Munich. Um, he even didn't make the trip to the Marbella summer training camp, warm weather, sorry, warm weather training camp uh, for Liverpool. And Jurgen Klopp uh, ad admitted that uh, they have been uh, preparing for the Bayern game without Lovren. 
and Lovren has actually flown home to Croatia to work with a strength and conditioning coach and uh, that is according to the Mirror's David uh, Maddock uh, journalist so it looks like uh, Lovren will not be fit for the Bayern game and that is really really tough for Liverpool because we have one available centre-back for the Bayern game we have of course Van Dijk who is fit but he's unavailable he's suspended in the first leg Lovren is out, Joe Gomez is out, so do we play Fabinho in, mid in the defense? Most likely, there is no other option and I'm not too comfortable with Fabinho and Matip going up against one of the best attacks in Europe in Lewandowski, Robben, Ribery, Kingsley Coman, James Rodriguez, wow that will be tough to keep Bayern out at Anfield, so I'm really not looking forward to that, uh, you know, encounter. I'm, I'm looking forward to the game itself, but I'm not looking forward to seeing how Liverpool's defense will cope against Lewandowski because it's going to be tough. We could lose the chance to go to the quarterfinals if we lose to Anfield. So the good news is that John Gino Vinadum trained for the first time since uh, you know the victory against Bournemouth. He he has been ill before the Bournemouth game. He now took time to recover, and uh, Klopp uh, said Vinadum had a little dip, but uh, Vinadum will start um, today. So that's good. And and he trained in the morning before flying back to Liverpool. And uh, he still has a few days, I mean it's, it's Friday today, so uh, it's uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday, that's four days of training for Vinadum before the Bayern game, so I think he will be fit, he will be fit for that game, but it will be interesting how we cope with Bayern Munich with so many injuries, especially in defense. We are a little bit short in some areas and I'm still a little bit annoyed that we sent out Nathan Klein on, on loan. Trent Alexander-Arnold is closing in on uh, full fitness, which is also very, very good. And Trent Alexander-Arnold said, it was the, something new and something to get my head around, so it was tough for me coping with the injury, but it's thanks to the manager, the physios and the medical department in happy me, helping me get back so quickly ahead of schedule. I feel good, it was good to get a bit of fitness in there at the weekend and that will help me get back to full fitness and to push on and hopefully start a few games in the next few weeks. So that's very very good to hear and it looks like um, Henderson and James Milner you know uh, is also back to full fitness so thankfully we are now fine in the right back position the only worry the only game that we we have to worry about is the Bayern game because after that Van Dijk will be back so Van Dijk and Matip can play against Man United but if, imagine if one of them gets injured we don't have another center back you know in our team and that's why maybe we should have done some business in the January transfer window let me know if you agree with that or not Alisson said that uh, the fans can make a huge difference against Bayern Munich he felt it last season when he went to Anfield with Ayas Roma and Ayas Roma conceded like uh, I think five goals if I remember correctly at Anfield. It's difficult to play against Liverpool, Alisson said. The quality of the team is amazing and then the 12th player outside the pitch, that is the supporters. Last year I can re remember about the semi-finals that they played against us. It was difficult, it was an unbelievable atmosphere, it was incredible. I like to play with supporters of the other team shouting talking to me it gives me incentive but here it was something different when I signed when I wanted to come here and I knew about the interest of Liverpool yes for sure that experience was a factor we players we want a team that wants you a team with quality with a good manager and with great supporters I think here at Liverpool you have maybe the biggest supporters in the world and uh, we are excited about the title battle we are very focused on this we are doing this for the supporters for the manager for us for everyone who is inside the project this team is different I think we can do something special here but we need to put the feet on the ground and keep working a lot the supporters are a great part of this team they cannot go to the pitch and play but they can do something to move us to charge us to do something more on the pitch so very very good talk about uh, the title race, about the rest of the season by Alisson and uh, the Liverpool fans had a massive part 
in that Alisson joined Liverpool in the end because uh, having experienced it firsthand, what uh, power the Anfield crowd has, especially on European nights, I think uh, that made the decision easier certainly for Alisson to decide to join Liverpool, so I'm delighted about that. And Sammy Uppia, former Liverpool uh, centre-back and a club legend in my opinion, he was part of the 2005 team who won the Champions League in uh, miraculous circumstances. He said this, we were in the final of the Champions League last year and the mindset will be to go one step further and win the competition. We made some great additions to the squad last summer and the team is looking even stronger, even better. There's no reason why we can't go all the way to the final this time around. Just because Liverpool are doing so well in the Premier League, that doesn't mean that the Champions League becomes less important. It's going to be tough, but it's possible. You want to keep challenging for both trophies for as long as possible. It makes it more interesting for the supporters. This is what they want, seeing their team competing for the two biggest trophies. And I fully agree with, with Sami Yuppi. I think this is a great opportunity for Liverpool to get to the Champions League uh, latter stages, to the semi-final or the final. But it's a, it's a really good uh, position to be in because even if we get knocked out, of the Champions League and that's certainly a possibility because Bayern Munich will come to Anfield where Liverpool will have just one centre-back and possibly one midfielder playing on centre-back. So it can happen that Bayern score one or two goals at Anfield and, and win the tie overall because of those uh, go away goals. But we can always uh, fall back on uh, the title challenge and uh, having to just have one game every week to prepare for and to truly go all in for the Premier League title challenge, which could be a monumental thing in the Liverpool Football Club's history to win their first Premier League title, to win their first league title in 29 years. You can't underestimate what that could do to the fans, to the club, to the, to the players, to Jurgen Klopp as a manager, and it could be absolutely massive and it could be the, the difference be, between just finishing one or two points ahead of Man City or just falling short whether we have the Champions League and the Premier League to concentrate it on because I, with the amount of injuries defensively that Liverpool have like it can happen when we go to the Champions League quarterfinals, semi-finals those are massive games and anything can happen. The injuries can happen to Matip, to Van Dijk, to, to other players and then we will be well short. And imagine if we have arrived in the Champions League semi-finals and in the last like five games in the Premier League without any proper centre-backs or with just one fit centre-back and we will lose the Champions League and the title because of that. That would be a nightmare scenario and I don't even want to think about it but, but we have to talk about these things because it, it's, it, it can happen. In football injuries can happen to any player and Liverpool having Joe Gomez, Matip and Lovren, three injury prone centre-backs. I think we need to sign another one. Delict could be a possibility, I talked about him earlier this week and I probably will make one or two update videos on that when more information becomes available on the Delict transfer rumour. But I really think that Liverpool should be signing one more very very good borderline world-class center back or somebody like Delict who can become world class in the next five years because Liverpool are, are, are short in that area in my opinion because of so many injuries happening to to all of our uh, players except Van Dijk so let me know what do you think about all of these uh, things that I talked about in this video and I hope you enjoyed it have a nice day thanks for watching see you later goodbye